So we got an exciting footage right here. Week 16 and 17 are going to be covered. Hold on, hold on. Why is my mouth not going with the video? All right, so we're going to pop the disc in right here and get ready for this footage. Like I said, we're going to cover week 16 and 17 and prepare for the NFL playoffs. But before we do so, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of information of what's going on with the season so far. So as far as my stats goes, I have 65 tackles and you guys know five big interceptions. Now, before we do anything, here is the team's record 10 and 4. We lead the NFC South. And you guys see the top right corner? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So here we go. We are here in Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida. 58 degree weather. Like, it is getting cold, but it's still hot here. I mean, we're nearly approaching January, but like I said, it is still hot here. So here we go to kick off, and I'm not even going to be returning. Why did he just kneel that one down? But all right, here we go. Doug Martin, he has to show up offensively, and here is our main power Josh Freeman we're hoping that he has a big game because if he doesn't then our defense is not gonna hold up so here comes Bradford on his first possession completed to Gibson that is not Tavon Austin that is actually Gibson so here comes where I'm trying to you know stay away from the receiver because the more you stay away from the wide receiver the more likely your quarterback or the opponent's quarterback is gonna throw it at him so that is sort of my little method of having a quarterback throw it on my side so they go three and out and here comes the punt. Let's see if I'm going to be able to do anything with it. And cut to the left side. But the defender is able to get me down. So here comes their second possession of the game. Sam Bradford. Who is he going to throw it to? It is my wide receiver. But Gator is right there for the interception. So we have that powerful secondary making missions all year long. Making highlight plays all year long. And Bradford, just a little too much power on that play. An incompletion, but he comes right here and redeems himself to Kellen Winslow. This is Junior, obviously. Here comes Bradford. Another play. Third down. Look at that beautiful catch. And what are they going to do now? They had a couple passing plays. Now they're going to run the ball. Look at the running back just breaking tackles. And but he comes up short. Second and three now. He secures the first down and more. So they're slowly approaching the red zone. The running game is working. But here on this play, I'm able to get the running back down. And we force another third down. Jackson. Oh my. He was trailing behind his offensive line. So they settle for a field goal right here. And they tie up this game. So let's see what we're going to do with our next possession. Josh Freeman puts up seven points on the board. So the Rams are now looking at another possession here in the second half. Trying to tie up this game. Their running game has been seller so far in the game. And they continue to go to it. And, you know, we're sort of trying to... We're almost figuring them out. Because if it's not a running play, they've been doing screen plays, such and such. So we're slowly figuring them out. But yet, no stops. So here comes another halfback toss. The linebacker is right there to get a stop and force a third down. What will Stan Bradford do? He hands it off and the defense comes up big once again and force yet another field goal. So the score is now going to be 10-6 to as the field goal is good. So Josh Freeman puts up yet another 7 on the board. Here comes Sam Bradford. We are now into the fourth quarter. He's going deep on the play. And that is the receiver that I should have been guarding. But I gave him too much space and he gets a first down. So what will happen here? Oh, you did not want to throw that one. I read that one all the way, and uh, I thought it was not going to be intercepted because my guy's head was not turned around, but he sort of turned it last second. Look at Bradford. He's stepping back, and he throws this one. Look at my guy. Just throws around last second, and he is able to make that stellar catch right there for my sixth interception of the season. I tried to take that one for a pick six. But it did not work out. But more importantly, we get an interception on the play. So it's 17-9 now. Three minutes remaining. What will Bradford do here? Look at that beautiful throw and catch. So as we simulate down the possession, they get yet another field goal. And with winning at 38, I was kind of surprised that they kicked off the ball. So they kicked it off to us. And we couldn't do anything with three timeouts that they burned. They got the ball back with 50 seconds remaining. So here comes the completion. The clock is ticking. 35 seconds now. Bradford a lot of time in the pocket. What is up with that accuracy? So here we go, fourth down, last play of the game. They are going deep, hot potato, ah, no one can come up with the interception. And that is how we are going into the block rooms. You see my guy is getting interviewed. I am the player of the game with that big interception. So we're going happy and all we have now is week 17 left on our schedule before we start the NFL playoffs. So we are leaving Tampa Bay Stadium with the score of 17 to 12. 
And now it is all up to our team and have to regroup right here to see what will happen in week 17. And in week 17, we actually have a game here against the Falcons. A division game right here. So let's go, Matt Ryan stepping back in. That is too short. Here we go, third and 10 right here, their first possession. That is actually their second possession. And look at that. Why did I even try to tackle on that play? And Williams is right there. And I believe that is Roy Williams that they signed. Gets a touchdown. So that makes it 17, or should I say 16, nothing. So our offense has not even put anything on the scoreboard. It is third down. We are buying stops. You know, we're buying stops. But offense is not scoring. So let's go. Punt return right here nowhere to go so again matt ryan takes over the possession and it is still 16 to nothing we're trying to buy a stop here and i get that tackle to go down third and 11 right here matt ryan stepping back a bad pass right there as he got pressured so they're gonna punt the ball once again so we are creating opportunities for our offense let's see where i'm gonna take this punt ah nowhere to go on the play so now offense goes up and they can't do anything it's still 16 to nothing and with four minutes remaining our chances are slowly running out and look at williams once again gets a huge reception and matt ryan and the offense right here is just marching down the field we have no stop so julio jones and dwight have been kind of awfully quiet in this one and finally roddy white is showing up right here gets back to back receptions and they are faced with second and two so you see the clock has been burned off the clock or scoreboard should i say and we are down to the two minute warning they just keep running the ball running the ball and we have no stop finally i call a timeout they get a field goal here and that is pretty much it i mean we bought stops for our offense but they just couldn't put anything on the scoreboard so we simulate and week 17 is sort of a heart crusher right here. We want to end the regular season on a good note, but we have failed to do so. So when I got into the main menu, I want to show you guys some of the stats around the league, season stats. And, you know, something that I noticed as I give you guys a rundown, Robert Griffin is third in the league as far as passing yards, not passing yards, quarterback rating. And something that you guys are going to notice is when I go to the defensive stats, they actually don't show my guy. I mean, my guy was up there as far as tackles and interception goes, but I really had a filter to my league. Uh, I had to filter to AFC for you guys to see my guy's stats. For some reason, when I was under NFL stats, they just didn't show my guy. So here I am filtering, and this is sort of a mini glitch as I go into the NFC you guys finally see my guy he has 74 tackles on the year and six interceptions and that is pretty good stats for rookie season so in the next episode i will cover the nfl playoffs it's your boy onto the boss and i'm signing out if you guys want to stay updated on when all my videos will be uploaded make sure you follow me on twitter twitter.com onto the boss